that looks really really cool yeah that looked cool hi today i'm gonna compare night street photos done with sony fx30 and samsung s24 ultra at the end i will show you some basic color grading techniques i use to color grade night footages in davinci resolve so stay tuned and let's go so first fx30 plus color grade and s24 and finally side by side comparison so let's go to the another location in the meantime i'm checking how the camera is performing in a low light so this is our third location let's try to capture colors and A lot of walking today. Let's try to capture this view. Like this. I didn't like that S24 overexposed this photo for some reason. I corrected that in post so it's more comparable side by side. So this is our last location, let's check it out here. Okay, let's zoom the same way, so like here. Okay, let's jump into DaVinci and color grade one of these photos. I like to work on my color grade node tree that keeps my work neat and organized if you want to do it the same way, you can download it for free from my coffee page, link and the details in the description. So as a first step, I will correct balance and exposure. In the primaries, I like to increase offset wheel, not too much. Then in the HDR, since this is a night photo, so lots of shadow and not a lot of light. To make it simple and fast, I will crank the global exposure. Next is contrast. So again, in primaries, let me increase contrast. Not too much, because I like to adjust it also in the curves. So in the curves, let's make a nice S-shape curve. Totally subjective. Okay, now the saturation. In primaries again, let me increase overall saturation. A quick tip, you can monitor your saturation using vector scope. A rule of thumb is to not cross these squares. So as you can see, we are fine. Let me increase a bit global saturation in HDR also, just a tiny bit. What I'd like to do now is to increase the greenness of the grass and not impact the overall saturation. You can achieve it using curves. So let me select hue versus saturation curve. Pick the color. Okay. So this dot is our color. I will create another dot here by clicking the line and remove this one by right-clicking it. It will give me a larger range of colors. I will now select the dot that represent our green color and I will adjust input hue towards more green. And now if we play with saturation control, see what's happening. I will leave it somewhere around here. Next, let's adjust the temperature. So I selected my temperature node Personally, I like night photos look colder, so let me decrease the temp control. So here it is before and after. Okay, what's next? I think we're good with HDR adjustment. We don't need warper. Overall trim is fine too. So let me create a power window now. I've got two spare nodes to do it. Okay, so let's create a circle power node. Set the size and smoothness. I will invert it so that all changes will be applied outside the power window. And in this case, I will decrease gamma a bit. It will create a, some kind of uh, vignette effect, but not too much. Before and after. If you're using a studio version, you can remove noise. 
I've got tutorials on how to do it in free version, so check it out if you need to do it in free version. Okay, I will do it in the noise reduction node. I hope you can see the noise. In the effects, search for noise reduction, drag and drop it on the node. In the settings, I always set type to better and increase temporal threshold and spatial threshold. And already you can see the improvement. The noise is basically gone. So this is before and after. But nothing is for free. By applying noise reduction, you will lose overall sharpness. So as a next step, I will bring back sharpness. Let me rename this node to sharpness maybe. <laughs> but I want to apply it only to the center of the image. So again, power window, resize it. So I want this texture to be sharper. Uh, so again, this is only for studio version. So let's decrease the radius, not too much, and scaling. And this is before and after. Okay, so this is basically my approach to color grade night footage. You can export your work in delivery page. I explained it in details in my previous tutorial, but you can also right click and select grab still. Then in the gallery, right click your still again and export. Hope you've learned something, leave a comment, like and subscribe if you feel like supporting my channel. Cheers and see you in the next one.